if I were to go broke, this is exactly how I would go back to where I was and even higher in five simple steps. And these are the five things that I would focus on today. Now, before I get into this, if this is your very first time to the channel, consider subscribing. Also drop your questions in the chat below and let us know what more of this channel you'd like to see. So the very first thing that I would focus on is acquiring a skill that um, has no max, that has no potential. I would not get a job. I wouldn't just go and flip burgers at McDonald's or something so that way I can get some money in my pocket, which is what a lot of people would do because they're gonna be thinking about, well, I need survival, I need to eat, I need to sleep, I need to drink water, blah, blah, blah. So I'm just gonna go and get, but see what happens is if you did that, you're going to get busy. Us human beings are terrible at multitasking, right? Like when you are typing notes, and this is why I hate taking notes when I am being lectured or if I'm at a seminar or something, because once you start taking notes, your mind just stops listening. It listens, but it, it hears, but it doesn't listen, right? So you're taking notes, right? So once you are um, at the job, now you have your basic needs met and your like subconsciously you're gonna start getting comfortable. If I were to go broke, I'm gonna be doing everything I can to get to where I am right now, and I'm gonna be in, in, you know, uh, uh, in freak out mode, mode pretty much. I'm gonna be in urgency mode. The urgency is gonna be high, everything's gonna be high, and I wanna keep that until I get to where I am, because otherwise I won't be able to get to where I am. So the very first thing is, won't get a job, won't just try to meet my necessities, but I will find a skill or acquire a skill that has no max, meaning the more I put into it, the more I get out of it, and there is no ceiling to its potential. It can go to the to 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 any kinds of endings. So obviously Amazon FBA would be you know the very first thing that I would look into, but there are other vehicles, but you know, whatever it is, just making sure that it's a skill that has no ceiling. Okay, so it would be acquire <coughs> skill with no ceiling. I don't know if you guys could see it or if, uh, uh, if my uh, handwriting is small and if it is, I do apologize. So that's the very first thing is acquiring something that has no ceiling. The second thing would be sell, because obviously I don't have money, so I need money to make money, right? So then I don't need money personally, I'm gonna be doing OPM, which is other people's money, right? So my job here is I'm not going to go, obviously I don't have time to go sit and create presentations and, and business plans and all that. That's not, that's not what's needed here. Just work with what you have, where you are, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find one person. I only need about, you know, five to 10K here. I don't need, you know, depending on how big is this, this vehicle, I'm going to probably start with about 520, you know, five, 10K most likely under 20K because I need proof of concept, right? I can't just go and blow things up. I need proof of concept. So I'm probably gonna look for about five to 10K. I'm gonna go to somebody that has that thing, that money, that five to 10K, and I'm going to simply sell my idea to them that, hey, look, let me make you a partner. You're a silent partner. I'll do all the work. You bring in the money. Let's blow this thing up, right? So give them a, a share of anywhere between 30 to 50%. Obviously, the lower, the lower, the better, because now you own more. I'm going to probably even start at 20%, you know? So I'm going to evaluate or value this thing at, say, 100000 or 80000 and say, I'm going to, you know, for $10,000, you could buy whatever, right? 5% uh, 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 or 10% or 20%, whatever the number is, it doesn't exactly matter because... You know, a lot of people also get stuck here saying, oh, I don't want to give up 30% of my company. I don't want to give up 20% of this. You ain't got no company, right? And 50% of something is better than 100% of nothing, right? So just, just keep that in mind, right? So first, I'm going to find a skill that has no ceiling. Number two, I'm going to convince someone and sell them on my idea. And then number three, and this is really important, but before I get into it, if you're enjoying this video, do me a favor and smash that thumbs up button. It helps the video rank in the algorithm. Also, if you've never been here, consider subscribing to the channel. So number three is, it's, and this is, I live by this. You see me always wearing black for a specific reason. You see that I don't have any things on the walls. The reason why I have that is because it keeps me motivated and it reminds me of the mission. And this is number four, I'm gonna, or actually number five, and I'm gonna talk about that. But everything else is functional around my house. 
And so this is going to be focus plus kiss. And you're going to say, what do you mean by that? Well, it's very easy, really easy to get distracted. And every time you have five, ten, twenty thousand $20,000 in the bank to want to invest it and put it in other places, to want to start another business, to want to get into all these ventures. I get, and it's funny because I laugh every time. One time, I still remember a few months ago, I was working out at the gym and this guy that I guess recognized me from Instagram or social media somewhere, he's like, hey, you're Bashar, right? That guy, blah, blah, blah. We we're talking. He's like, uh, I was asking him, like, yeah, man, I'm, what do you do? Well, he's a, an analyst for something. And then he's like, yeah, and I also have some Shopify stores and I do this thing and I do that thing and I do that thing. You know, trying to hustle, you know what I mean, right? I'm like, no, I don't. It's like, well, I'm pretty sure you have like so many streams of income. I'm like, I really don't. It's one, really two, I guess you can say. It's my Amazon business and, and my coaching, but they're all within the same thing. He's like, oh, wow, okay. Because society teaches us to diversify. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket. This will only grow if you do put all of your eggs in one basket. The reason why I wouldn't go get a job because then I'd be distracted. Then I'd be not focused. And human beings are not good at multitasking. The more you stay disciplined and focus on this thing, the higher you grow it, right? And the more of these people are going to want to come back and reinvest back into your business and want to grow it further because your idea is so massive and you're getting them such amazing returns. So first thing is acquire a skill that's got no max. Number two, sell someone to give you the money because you ain't got none. Number three, focus on it as much as possible, okay? And then the fourth thing is, and this is super cool, is you want to build an amazing team because no one human being has ever accomplished anything great alone, right? But then also employees completely suck. You want people that are invested in your business as much as they would if it was theirs. And the only way to make them invested in your business as much as they would if it was theirs is actually give them a stake in the company. Treat them like owners, compensate them like owners. So build team of, of not employees, but A players, A plus partners. That's the only way you could do it right here. This is probably more important than anything else because, you know, doing this is important. Obviously, you got to start doing this is obviously important. Doing this is important. But then these will only grow as big as this. These will only grow like this can get like this will get you to, I don't know, whatever, 10, 20, 30, 100, maybe even seven figures, seven figures per year. You know, so let's say 80,000 a month, 80 a month in revenue. Right. But then to go from, so this is seven fig <clears throat> and maybe not even, <clears throat> this will definitely get you to six figures, maybe seven figures, but to go from seven, eight, you need this to go from seven, eight, you have to have this. Otherwise you just, you alone can't do everything. And if you try to control everything, you control nothing. Right? So this is very important. Number five. And this for me is. Honestly, they go from level of importance from down up. Like for me, level of importance is this way. Okay? I, everything is important, but I think they go level of importance down up. And here's, here's, here's this. This is going to be about the why. So you'll go to, as, a, as an entrepreneur, as a human being, you'll want to grow. You'll want to make more money, right? And, and in the beginning, you're broke and you need, you know, you need basic stuff met. Then you're going to go and probably make a few thousand dollars a month and then make $10,000 a month. And then you're going to think that making $10,000 a month is a lot because you're surrounded by a bunch of people that are making two, three, five thousand dollars and you're going to think that you're the shit. And then you're going to come hang around people, you know, that are making 20, 30, 50, a hundred thousand dollars a month and you're going to feel this small. And then you're going to go bust your ass to get to a hundred thousand. But then once you get to a hundred thousand, which is, you know, you're now at seven figures, um, like you don't, it's just the money game isn't, isn't a thing anymore. It's not scalable, right? Like to go from 100 to 200 to 500 to a million and beyond per month in revenue in your company and in your business and in your life and, and whatever is money can't be, can't be it anymore. I, I feel like up until like 5,000, maybe $10,000 a month, like 
money, anything beyond that is just stupid, right? Unless if you're like into lavish stuff, which either, even if you are, is you're just gonna get tired of it and it's not a scalable concept. It's not something that's gonna wake you up every single morning excited to grow more, right? Because it's not about you anymore. Because look, when you make $10,000 a month, like you're already kind of in the 1%, you know? Human beings, normal human beings don't make 10, $20,000 a month. That's not normal human beings amount of money to be made per month. So once you get there, it's like, well, you know, okay, I drive a Benz, now I want Bentley, you know? I, it's not like going from, I ride a bicycle and I need to buy just a normal car. It's not like my shirt, I wear, uh, you know, I buy a brand new shirt once every two years and now, you know, I need a new shirt or something like that. It's like going from Zara to Louis Vuitton, you know? It's like going from a Michael Kors watch to a Rolex, you know what I mean? So it's like the stuff that you're gonna wanna do, it's not going to be stuff that's gonna wake you up every single morning excited because that stuff just will get, you'll get numb to it over time. So here is very important. So what I would do is I would take this whole thing and I would change it into something that has to do about why and something that actually excites me to wake up in the morning. And this is why I started BJK University. When I started BJK University, um, I had a team. It was quite small. It was, you know, three, four of us uh, doing the Amazon business, and I was profiting about 20, 30K a month. Um, so, you know, I was making nearly half a million dollars in profits, not in revenue. I was making multiple seven figures in revenue per year in profits uh, every single year for a couple of years. And I woke up one day, you know, with about 50, 100 grand in the bank and, and you know, 20, 30K coming into the bank every month. And it just wasn't fulfilling anymore. I need to do something else. I'm not shying away from BJK University is, is, a, is a very profitable company and it's changed a lot of people's lives. But it's the impacting other people's lives. It's what's important and what wakes me up. The money is a byproduct of the, uh, um, of the good that we do and of the performance and of the, what's the word that I'm looking for? And of the result that we deliver to our students, right? We don't focus on the money. We don't grow the money. We grow the result. And that's how we have grown so fast. So I would be focused on this. I would take all this and I would simply dump it into this. So I would literally try to take something out of what I'm doing and either convert this whole thing into, um, start, you know, try. Obviously, the, the whole thing would be tr if you could try to convert your business around helping others, that would be the ideal thing. Or you could turn into someone, you know, you could become a philanthropist. You can take a percentage of your, of your profits of your actual business and then dump it in here. And trust me when I say this, you're going to find a lot more pleasure here and fulfillment than the actual money itself after you get to a certain point. In the beginning, don't get me wrong, the money is amazing, especially when you go from nothing to making a whole bunch of money, five, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 a month. You feel like you're on top of the world. You tell your family, everybody's happy. Even those that hate you are happy just in front of you, but deep down they're actually envious of you. But again, it's, you're going to get to a certain point where you're going to be excited about it, you know, month, two months, six months, year, two years, three years, and then it's going to be nothing, right? So this is very important. But again, these are the five steps that I would personally do if I were to go completely broke and trying to come up to where I am. So number one, this is very important, and many of you guys might still be here. This is kind of a little down the line, obviously. You know, you can't just go from, like I wouldn't go from here to here. You know, I just wouldn't be able to because in the beginning you have to be selfish. Like here, especially here in the top two, you have to be very selfish. You have to look at, like taking care of yourself. It's me, 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 it's all about me, 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 right? This is me, this is us, this is them. So if I had to break it down, this would be me, this would be us, this would be them, right? So it went from me, me, me about three, four years ago to us about two years ago, uh, even up until last year in 2020, and then uh, uh, it became about them because I started BJK University in 2019. First year was like, it's a business school, but then I found fulfillment and I was like, oh, this is awesome. You know, let me help us. But then it's most importantly, you know, now we look at this. The way that I look at it is three levels of interest. It's them, number one, us, number two, and I never think about me because usually when I make sure that this is taken care of, when I make sure the team is taken care of, my interest always, always, the bank account always grows. I don't even look at it anymore because it's boring. 
Uh, what I look at is the student successes. When a student posts a, a, a screenshot in the Facebook group, uh, when a, one of our team members are able to quit their job three, four, five months after joining BJK University because now they're making as much money or more money here and they're finding a lot more fulfillment and they see the vision and they see that actually I'm making a change in society. I'm actually impacting people's lives. It's not about just you know, making, uh, 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 you know, uh, what is it called? M Mellon, Merrill, Merrill Lynch, Richer, whatever the, the, you know, name all the, all the big institutions. So anyways, this is how I would do. If you enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up button. Also, if you want to learn from us and want to be part of, um, the 1 million lives that we're trying to impact in the next five years, click the link below this video, check out the small presentation. Hope to see you there. Have yourself a great day. Cheers.